Hello friends, welcome back. Today's topic of discussion is transitive relation. Let us see what is transitive relation. Any relation R which is defined on a set A is said to be transitive if A is related to B under relation R and we also have B related to C under relation R and we also see that A is related to C under same relation R. If A is related to B and B is related to C and we also can observe that A is related to C therefore that kind of relation is said to be transitive. Sounds a bit complicated. Now let me make it simple. Ye tiyam zindagi aur ab dekhenge mentos zindagi. Husband is related to wife and wife has a kid. Husband is related to wife, wife has a kid and if husband accepts the kid, if husband accepts the kid, then the relation is transitive. Now think, husband is related to wife, wife has a kid and if husband does not accept kid, means husband, husband is not related to kid, then that relation is non-transitive. Very simple story, right? Or if you see this example, husband is related to wife and wife doesn't have a kid. Okay, so there is no relation whether husband accepts it or not. In this case, relation is still said to be transitive. So this is the mathematical part and this is the story part. Mathematics sometimes is difficult, but story sometimes is easy. Let us look at this example and try to find out whether this relation is transitive or not. So this relation R is defined over this set 1, 2, 3 and this relation R has three ordered pairs 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1. So let us first pick up this 1, 2. So this combination is like husband is related to wife. Now check whether wife has a kid or not. Two is related to something or not. Yes, two is related to one. So wife has a kid. Now check whether husband accepts the kid or not. Means whether one comma one is present or not. Yes, one comma one is also present. Means husband accepts kid. So this says this is transitive. But hold on, don't jump the gun. Check for every element. First, I picked up this and I checked whether husband related to wife, wife related to kid and whether husband accepts the kid or not. Now, let us pick up the second element. What is second element? 2 comma 1. Now, this is like husband related to wife. Now, check whether wife has a kid. 1 relates to 2. Yes, 1 relates to 2. So, wife has a kid. Now, check whether husband accepts the kid. So 2 comma 2, husband accepting kid, husband accepting kid. Is it present 2 comma 2? 2 comma 2 is missing. So that says it is non-transitive. So overall, this particular relation which you see is non-transitive. So when you look at just one example, it may feel it is transitive. But you need to check for every ordered pair. Here this ordered pair. If according to this ordered pair, husband has relation with wife, wife has a kid, but husband does not accept the kid. 2 comma 1, 1 comma 2, but 2 comma 2 is missing. Therefore, this relation is non-transitive. For clarity, let us take one more example. The set relation R is defined on this set A and now it has these four ordered pairs. I want to check whether this relation is transitive or not. So first consider this element 1 comma 2. So it is like husband related to wife. Now check whether wife is having kid or not. So whether 2 is related to something. Yes, wife has a kid. Now check whether husband accepts the kid. Whether 1 comma 1 is present. Yes, 1 comma 1 is present. So here no problem. Now let us pick this element 2 comma 1. So this is like husband related to wife. Now whether wife has a kid or not check one is related to something 
yes one is related to one now whether husband accepts the kid whether two comma one is present or not let's see whether two comma one is present yes two comma one is present therefore this is also saying it is transitive now let's look for one comma one let us be very careful look for one comma one your husband is related to wife now wife has a kid let's check whether one is related to something one is related to two one is related to now whether husband accepts the kid or not whether one comma two is present or not let's see one comma two is present yes one comma two is present therefore no problem from this side also now the last element is two comma two let's check for two comma two it is like husband is related to wife let's see whether wife has a kid whether two is related to something yes two is related to one so wife has a kid so whether husband accepts the kid whether two comma one is present in the relation two comma one yes it is present in the relation so positive signal from here 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 from each element every aspect every ordered pair we have checked and this relation r defined over set a is coming out to be transitive let's see one more small example for more clarity this relation r is defined over set 1 2 3 it has a single ordered pair and i want to know that it, whether it is transitive or not look at this element 2 comma 2 so it is like husband related to wife now whether wife has a kid let's see whether 2 is related to something yes 2 is related to 2 all right so whether a husband accepts the kid whether a husband accepts the kid means whether 2 comma 2 is present or not i can see with my eyes yes 2 comma 2 is present therefore this relation is transitive look at this example the relation r is an empty set i want to know whether it is transitive or not so whether you have husband related to wife no so there is no question of wife having quid there is no question of it and there is no question of husband related to kid so if husband is not related to wife wife doesn't have a kid there is no question of you know so this relation is transitive i want you to remember every empty empty relation is st empty is st symmetric as well as transitive empty relation is st empty is st symmetric and transitive now this is good question see here this question it, it is uh, having a relation r which is defined over a set a and what they are asking is uh, is the minimum number of ordered pairs that must be added to this relation to make it reflexive symmetric and transitive how many minimum number of ordered pairs must be added to this relation to make it reflexive let's see this is our given relation right it has two ordered pairs one two and one one reflexive means self-love so there are two elements one should love one yes two should also love two so two comma two is not present so let me add two comma two from my side so this is the element i am adding so one comma one is present two comma two is present that means this relation has now become reflexive symmetric khon ka badla khon if one kills two then two must kill one two must kill one so two comma one must be present so from my side i'm adding two comma one so once i add this the relation r has become symmetric now whether it is transitive or not i want you to check yourself and write in the comment box whether this is transitive or not so pause for a moment and check so as you can check this is transitive also so how many minimum elements minimum ordered pairs have to add two this i've added and this i've added 
so minimum number of order pairs is two so friends only this much for today's video hope you like the video and please share with your friends also and if you want me to put up a video another video where i can discuss various uh, problems interesting questions on transitive relations you can surely write in the comment box i'll come up with the videos discussing important interesting difficult questions on transitive relation till then bye bye and take very good care of yourself